480 kilometers that is 8,000 meters of climbing for, for many people the first checkpoint will be the uh, McDonald's in Rochester and about 90k something like that so why is this reasonably flat um, let me tell you my strategy for this ride my strategy is just to go out and enjoy it <laughs> that is literally it I was going to mention about sleeping and my plan and how I'd like to ride through the Great British Escalades. I love sleeping out in nature, it's part of the adventure, isn't it? Finding somewhere to sleep, getting the boohoo bag, waking up next morning, going out riding again. I've never seen so many bikes out here, I've walked up before. Hey folks, good morning. It is about 10 to 5. I've slept well, a little bit chilly. I'm finishing this and get going. I was thinking to myself, I'm not very good at this. I'm going so slow, incredibly slow. And I looked at the, on the elevation and it was 18%. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Check this out for a view. So lush and green. More back garden shenanigans. So draining on me this both physically and mentally I've got a lot to learn I was going down some you know thickish gravel and I'm just trying to break all the way down course that doesn't help me I just need to ride over it and then there's a little fork where you turned right and a really tiny single track dodging nettles going over bumps and ramps and what's now for go by bricks and boulders all within like space you know less than sometimes less than the size of your handlebars I guess that's why I think a mountain bike be better because I know already that I cope better off-road with flat bars I'll tell you what though I am having fun <laughs> when you uh, consider yourself a bit of a noob it's always good to look ahead and see uh, someone in the same situation as you can't believe we're riding through sand no sand here to go to Sandcastle. What a beautiful view. Before I head back into the sand. It is turning out to be a nice day. I need to uh, stop being so chicken shit and get on with it. It's a bit down the side here. I think I can get through. Where am I going? Apparently the uh, South Downs, when I get there, a few people said it's a little bit more easier to navigate.
I have arrived in the South Downs and there's some beautiful views around here. Stunning. I have taken a look at the upcoming profile and uh, I quickly turned away. <laughs> really on top of the world. Okay, we're going up to half eight. I think, oh, I did a quick maths. Two and a half hours riding left for me. Good morning folks, stay to me. It's another day full of bikepacking. Off in the distance here we've got Brighton. Maybe you can see the lights, I don't know. I can see the sunshine over there. It's certainly not sunny up here, it's cold. Yeah, need to get down, get warmed up. Um, so we're heading towards Eastbourne, it's 45k away. And then there's an 100, 150 kilometers left in this trip. Probably seen a lot of me walking, or if you ever visited the North and South Downs, be all too familiar with the uh, amount of effort required to get up these things. So we're here now, Kristen. It's about to have a Double breakfast, Wallace crisps, milk, coke, four pints of milk, four, four pints of milk, yeah. So I just left our fist in, lovely refreshed. And now after all that food, which is going back uphill. The uh, view back onto Alfiston, and there's a horse being car carved into the hillside there. Since I've come off the South Downs, it's been onto the road, so knocking down those kilometres fairly quickly. So it's tea time. I'm not sure where we are. How many times have I said that? So it's time for pizza, 12 inch pizza, and a large, and a large litre, litre and a half of Coke to carry me back. 67 kilometres to go. I'm liking that number, I'm liking that number. It is uh, 10 past 7, so it'll be our warm on after this. Start to feel the cold. So we're just right into the uh, sunset one final time. Yeah. Don't know time we're going to finish, maybe. This side of half 10 would be nice. Quite possible. Didn't film it, but we just had a bit of a road diversion. Just what you want, right near the end of the ride. 